great is it but maybe it'll cheer up there's a lot of water out there but hopefully it'll dry out by the time we've had a coffee and a chin wag so let's sort out this old man morning face it's showered dressed go and find brew shall we a couple of quick small quirks about this bathroom first one bitte den lichtschalter festdrücken means you have to push the button really hard to get it to work otherwise nothing happens for reasons i can't fully understand or explain i've got one two hair dryers i'm guessing because this one doesn't work yeah that could why is it still there? And in the same vein, I've got this wonderful looking shower door, which, uh, yeah, that's it's not meant to work like that, is it? So they've just put a curtain inside it and left the shower door there. But this is the best bit. I've never seen a tap like this. You have to turn it to get the temperature. You need to pull it to make the water come out. Weird. Anyway, breakfast. Ah, the relaxing flicker of the Wurst cabinet. today then, Andy. Where were we not off to? Like Doing it. all of it. Everything Germany's got, we're going to look at it. Strip of joints and bars then, please. Right. Time to wake up the lovely people. Yes, good morning folks. And welcome to our Beards, Bikes, Bakers, Beers day of ride out. We are quite simply just going to head out. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we begin the trip with our first U-turn. What? Oh, it's too early in the day for U-turns. That was rubbish. We went out last night, walked down the street there in search of some authentic German food. I actually wouldn't let Bruce go to the first pizzeria that we found because I wanted something real and German. We ended up going to that place there at which, so much for authentic German fare, he had a Hawaiian schnitzel and I had a Metaxa schnitzel. Not very authentic at all. But it's quite strange looking in the mirror, seeing Teapot One behind me. But I had a marvellous time last night. Night. A couple of beers, bit of schnitzel, bit of banter. Thoroughly enjoyed meeting the man himself. He's one of those characters who is exactly the same on the camera as he is off. Great to see that the roads are drying out nicely. The mist is disappearing from the hills over there. So because every good trip starts with a tank full of fuel, I'll be back in a minute when I've got one. Oh, what a plum. I just uh, did the old beep to sync the cameras trick. Forgot to press record on my camera, didn't I? Had to do it again. I look like a proper plum now. Right, get the old heated vest on. Oh, the roads are drying up nicely. What the actual fu- oh, Jesus Christ, you f What is the point of planning a trip if when you put it in the sat-nav you get a completely different route? Oh, that's embarrassing. I went the wrong way out of the garage, didn't I? Sorry. What a plum. I should never ever be in charge of any kind of routing. Uh, out of the garage and left. This is the direction we were going in. Oh, you are joking. The very first bloody route we're taking and it's friggin' blocked. Unbloody believable. <laughs> oh, that is a great roar from that VM. Come on, Garmin. Get us into those bendies, will you please? And once again, the Bourne's E. Yeah, it's pretty special, isn't it? So, now we're gonna do a quick skirt around it, head over that way, and then back down south. Well, when I planned this little segue, I didn't expect it to be quite so slow. So, yeah, quite nice to have a proper look at the place. Should we used to spend so much time here. Back in the day when I was a little nipper. Come on, let's get out of town. I want to push on. You're embarrassing me now, Garmin. Well, I'm embarrassing myself with the route that I've made, to be honest. I promised Bruce amazing, twisty, sweeping bends, and I'm showing him suburban lakeside. Oh, 50 kilometers an hour limit all the way around the lake. Right, we're now into proper speed limits, and we've got a Nissan Note in front of us. It's a great start. We don't want to give it too much of the beans when the road's wet. Oh, rubbish. Junction. And back to 50, yes! Yeah, that was a lot more pedestrian than I'd hoped. It's all 40s and 50s yeah, and 70s, isn't it? On the map, it looked great. Right, now we're talking. We're away from the lake, we're away from the speed limit, hopefully we're away from the traffic. Yeah, this is more like it. an 
Andy Mancam subscriber, feel free to pop over to Teapot One Vids. Have a look, see what you think. If you enjoy it, please subscribe. It'd be great to have you along. Right, I think we are hitting some more twisties. He does like hanging off. Oh, I drive it. I hate this overbanding we have here. Oh bloody hell, let Andy get away. Right, let's go catch him up. Oh, glad I've got the pin lock in. I am breathing quite a lot. And I must admit, considering these roads are proper damp, I am well impressed with how hard I can push it. On these Metzler M7RRs, they are impressing me. And these bike sounds lovely. Whew. That was a thoroughly enjoyable little stretch. The legs are tired now though. Too much jumping around and then Bruce behind me. Ooh, ooby. Just casually plonking in and out of every corner like it's not even there. Very relaxed looking rider. Look at that, as if by magic we're back in Arnsberg. It's how we stayed in last night. <laughs> little fellas, mesmerised by the bikes. Huh? Did you see that sign? No motorbikes on Saturdays and Sundays. Did you see that? Makes me worry now, maybe there's going to be roses up there or something. So racist. No, I haven't, but maybe we'll have to go round. And we're back into the countryside. But seriously, no motorbikes, why ever not? It can't be because of noise, it's out in the middle of the countryside. This is more like it. A squirm on the overbanding there. a nice little stretch. Did you find that really slippery? I didn't actually, no. I had a, little, a few little squirmy moments. I kept expecting it, but there wasn't. <laughs> See, I, I didn't expect it. I was pushing a bit harder and a bit harder, <laughs> and then just at the end, the front end had a little bit of a whoa. Oh, never good. Oh, this is a wonderful road surface. Potholes and dirt. Oh, such heaven! For that very, very short stretch. Hmm, this is Zorpazi, the place where apparently everything is shut. We wanted to get a coffee and a piece of cake, goddammit! Very nice. Why is everything shut? Yes, it's Easter weekend, but it's just a normal Saturday. Stuff should be open. Crazy little pond de sac. There's got to be a bakery in it somewhere. Well, that's a bakery, but that's shut as well. I think Andy's trying to look for a calf or something. And then we get back out into the countryside again. Isn't that amazing? Just because this is a little bit in the shade, the road is still soaking wet. more of a surface for Bruce's bike than mine. Oh, surface is 
knots. That was very twisty. That was good, I enjoyed that. Who says you have to go to Switzerland for switchbacks, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that burnt hair smell is definitely me, because I can still smell it. I don't need to wax my back before my holiday, though. Come on, there's got to be a bakery around here. This is getting embarrassing. I found pastries, finally. Right, folks, we have managed to connect. That's all exciting now we've got this working. Is, isn't it? Let's play. Right, we were going that way, weren't we? I think so, yeah. Oh, and we're off. And would you believe it, we've got the sh connected. Woohoo! Which does mean I can't talk complete cod shit now. I know, yeah. I'm going to have to start being nice about you now. Oh, don't wave. Yeah, some of them are a bit too cool for school, aren't they? Normally these bloody GS riders, they're normally a bunch of arses. Yeah, I'll be honest, there were a couple of times yesterday I had to hold my tongue because I thought, hang on, I'm going to go and meet one of them guys. I'm not a full-blown GS wanker, not yet. You're saying there's still potential? Oh, God, yeah. Once I get the full matching BMW suit. The beige one? Oh, yeah. It's the redeeming factor that's always going to make you okay, Bruce, as I've seen a picture with you with your knee down on a GS. It makes everything okay. Definitely. Oh, they do like the speed limits here, don't they? It's a bit frustrating. They're just, they're up and down like a yo-yo, aren't they? Luckily, speeding fines in Germany are very, very reasonable. That's good of them. The very first time I got flashed by a speed camera in Germany, I was in the girlfriend's car. As you'd imagine, I was mortified. Oh, I'm sorry, love. You're going to get a big fat fine. I'm going to get a big fat fine and somebody's going to have to get points. And she was just like, meh, don't worry about it. Really, really chilled out and I didn't quite understand why. And she didn't understand why I was so upset. But I explained to her that it's a hundred quid and three points on your license. And she said, oh, that's ridiculous, we'll get a 20 euro fine if, if that. I got done in Portugal, 160 miles an hour on my Jexa. Oh, 200 euros. And all the copper said was, but you are not the quickest today. I'm liking these dry roads. Happy days. Oh, amazing, isn't it? We've been so lucky, haven't we? Because yesterday was peeing down with rain. You said it was snowing back where you're from. Tomorrow <laughs> it's supposed to be rain. Oh, nice. Oh, I think we're going full circle. It's a helter skelter. I would have overtaken this chat, but we're turning off in two kilometers. Well, potentially turning off. I seem to have fudged 50% of our turn offs because I can't appear to read a sat nav. It's the pressure. It's the pressure. It is. I don't know how you do it with the tools. I really don't. I've got to admit, the, the first tour of the year is always fun and games. Trying to get your brain back up to speed and remember how the sat nav works. And then after that, we're all right. So how much do you actually do in terms of caring for the people you're touring? Do you literally just lead the way or do you have to worry about the stragglers? The, the way I've, I've always done it on my tours is that when you get out into the open road, everyone's pretty much free to go as as fast as they want to go but then as soon as we come into somewhere like this you come into a little town or a village I'll slow right down to the speed limit if not well below it and just bunch everybody back up again then nobody feels the pressure to keep up if they're not comfortable definitely it's worked so far we've not had any losses <laughs> It's good though, I enjoy taking people away on tours. It's quite stressful, but the hoops and hollers that you get off of people when you, you stop after doing a great bit of road, that makes it worthwhile. Yeah, I bet. Germany's awesome, but I still don't think you can beat Spain. Northern Spain, man, the Picos, the Pyrenees. For me, it's just like a biking nirvana, it really is. Yeah, I've got to go back there at some point. I've been through Andorra and the Pyrenees once, and it was oh, yeah, shitting yeah, yeah. it down with rain. It was, <laughs> was one it? of the most miserable times of my life. I had no waterproofs with me, oh. and it rained for five days solid. Oh, here we go. Right, let's do it. Oh, he's leaning. He's leaning, folks. Oh, he's giving it big lean now. This one's more of a tick than a corner. Come on, get around, get around. You're just begging to put your knee down, aren't you? It just feels like I'm a million miles away, though. You need to get a slider on there for starters. Yeah, one of the wet weather ones is about eight <laughs> inches long. Slider stilts. Oh, no, this is nice. I like this. This is wonderful. Yeah. But this is not so wonderful. Clear the way. Tractor coming through. This is turning into a good to be alive day. Love it. 
What a beautiful road. It's very North Walesy. North Walesy, yes. That's a real thing. It is now. Whoa. That's crap. Whoa. I think this used to be a road. I'm glad I've got an adventure bike. Yeah, me too. There's lunch. It's getting worse. I didn't know we were going to Russia. <laughs> we're going to pop out in the middle of the courtyard of some Siberian gulag in a minute. Hiya! Where's all that coming from? Somewhere wet. Was that helpful? I can't argue. You're absolutely right. I'm here to help. Okay, now you can switch your bike out of mountain goat mode. <laughs> Have fun on those tracks, lads. The smell of burning hair is back. So, those of you who are keen Andy Man Cam viewers will recognise that little contraption down there. Andy built his own heated vest. How's that going, Andy? Uh, yeah, it kind of smells like burnt hair. <laughs> awesome. But it's working fine. It's <laughs> this is how it was designed. You're not cold. No, no. I mean, my fleece jacket is melted to my skin. <laughs> But the third degree burns have a warming effect. When you start leaving a smoke trail like a red arrow, maybe we should turn it off. Yeah, well, I'll leave it to you to tell me when that's happening, but... <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, you'll let me know just after you've turned the cameras back on. Exactly. That teapot one, eh, will do anything for views. So this is fun. Obviously in Germany, you um, what, you have to wait for every single train in the country to come by? It's because there's a lot of turbulence as well. We have to wait for that to pass. Oh, God. What's going on? I think the barriers are broken. I'm bored now. See, that, that is a fine example of Germany's high speed train system. Well it looks very clean. It's because it moves too slowly for the dirt to stick to it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was exactly the same point we yeah, were It was, before. yeah, yeah, look, we're, we're back at exactly the same place. How does that happen? Because <laughs> it can't be my fault. No, God, no. I'll tell you what, Andy, you're hired. You're coming away with chicken strips. <laughs> I don't know if that's a wise choice, Bruce, I really don't. We could call it the Lucky Dip Tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and finally back on the road. It feels like we've been stopped for hours. Yeah, our hotel's just over there. We've never been more than three miles from it. Oh, yes. I love the little fart and pop yours makes with every shift. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Have you got a quick shifter on yours? Not yet. It's on the way. Yeah, my bike is far too quiet. I hadn't noticed it until now, now that you're in front. Oh, you sit behind the, the exhaust, burping and farting in your face. Sadly, that is what she said. <laughs> Look at that sign on the building. Screw work. I want that T-shirt. It's a naughty little red light. Roxanne, <laughs> why the f*** you put on the red light? I wish you'd sang at my wedding. 1.1 miles, we turn left. Roger, left, left, left. But first, let's wait a little bit. Yay! Come on, our turn. Ah, oh, look, another red light. This is not how I remember riding in Germany. Is that taking us? That's not taking us on a motorway. No, it should be avoiding all that. This is sending us down the motorway. So, we've just been on the auto... Well, we are on, on, on the autobahn, and it's one of the go as fast as you like your stretches, which is what we're doing. Poor old Andy, he's on an unfair bike there. He must be getting blown about. Oh my God, so much wind. This is bloody hard work. Are you all right? Oh, I think my neck's gonna fall off. <laughs> <laughs> this is us. So there we go, that's 75 miles covered in four minutes. <laughs> Ta-da! Motorway, done. <laughs> You're right there. Oh, I know I didn't have a lot of wind protection, but I didn't know it was that bad. Oh, I just heard my bike in your intercom. Yeah, you are quite loud. So is the bike. <laughs> Look at that. What's that? No motorbike sign again. I didn't clock it. I really need to start looking at road signs. It's right, they're in a different language. The pictures are in German. <laughs> what a stunning road. Oh, that's outstanding. God, that's bumpy. Oh, let me just swallow my testicles down and I'll answer. <laughs> it's quite bumpy, this. No, oh, I hadn't noticed. You want to oh. get yourself a proper bike? I don't need one. I use my spine as a shock absorber. <laughs> Oh, that throttle kick. That's just disgusting. I hate it. I guess the only answer is to always stay on the throttle. And that's your excuse. I'd have loved to have slowed down, officer, but you see, it's like this. I reckon he'd take it. And the excuse. <laughs> that's the 87th red light for today's collection. Oh dear. I think something awful's about to happen. 
Oh, excellent. So this is 19 miles an hour limit. I find if you can't have fun at 19 miles an hour, then you're just <laughs> doing it wrong. <laughs> Ah, this is getting a bit Pico-ish, this is. Oh, there it is, look. There's the magic sign. Oh, there we go. This is the stuff. Liking the look of this. Oh, right up, do apologise. <laughs> I did about the same. God, another blooming tone. I think that sign means the road ahead is blocked. There's no diversion sign, is there? Yeah, the, the U pointing to the right was the diversion. Oh, ready for a bit of grub, I think. Me too. Maybe even a jar or two. Do you know what? I might have a beer. Just to try something new. I've heard lots of people talk about it. It sounds great fun. Oh look, another little village. It was the one thing I actually found quite frustrating about riding through the Black Forest. The roads there are absolutely amazing, but again, every five kilometres there's another village. That's why I love sort of northern Spain, you're just out there free. If you plot your route properly, you, you can miss most of the built-up places. Lovely. That was a nice little stretch. And thank God, another 50 mile an hour split. 50 mile an hour, that'd be a... That'd be awesome. This looks a nice little road. Oh, tasty. There's just no long stretches, are there? No, the most you get is a couple of minutes. That's what she said. Nice bit of toast slider sparkage from you there, Bruce. Oh yes, yeah, it's gotta be done. It's gone from that one, it's worn away. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, there's been parts of the roads today that have been awesome fun, haven't there? Yeah, unfortunately, all the bit this morning when it was all wet. Just have to come back. Yeah, this afternoon was had potential, but just didn't fully deliver, did it? But we're still out on the bike, so we can't moan, can yeah. we? Yeah, well, of course not. We're still hooning around the countryside. And we just have to make a montage out of it. Montage! <laughs> Everybody loves a montage! Did you see the two eight-year-olds riding the moped? I did! At unbelievable breakneck speed of 17 <laughs> kilometres an hour. Probably cacking their pants. First time I got on the motorway on my bike after I passed my test, I was doing about 52, 53 miles an hour in the slow lane of the M25. Absolutely <laughs> shitting myself. Within a week I was pinned in my Jixxer 600. I kind of did it a bit the other way around. I bought my ER5 in Maidstone, and then the day I picked it up, went straight on the motorway, and I absolutely rinsed it off the slip road. Did you? Didn't even bother looking at the speedo. <laughs> and then as the poo started to come out, I looked at the speedo and saw that I was doing 110. Oh my God. And after that, I went to your original setting, your default of 52, 53 for a little while, because I just cracked my pants. <laughs> that was fast for a newbie. But of course, I never go that fast anymore. Of course, a bit irresponsible. I can't get this bike up to 150. I don't think my bike will do over 75. <laughs> Not when my eyes are open anyway. Yeah, there it is. Digs for the eve. I'm fat. Oh, well that is that then. Well, my man, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming all this way. It has been an absolute pleasure. Let's go and get rat arsed. <laughs> I'm in. Oh, there we go. Fear not, the video is not over just yet, so uh, cut the music. No, no, cut the music. We're not ready for the music yet. Just turn it off. Yeah, so uh, we're just gonna get changed. But I am happy to say it's not melted, there's no fire, and there's no smouldering hairs. So I'm not really sure what the smell of the burning dog was on the ride, but it was definitely following me around. So we're gonna get showered and changed, and then we're gonna go and buy ourselves a few containers of social lubricant to try and aid in greasing the wheels of humour and entertainment for the live video stream later on. Hello folks, how are you all doing? Someone say hello. Please, we need it. 
If you didn't know, I'm over here in Germany, meeting him. Lord of the Rhine. The Rhine, not Lorraine. She wasn't here. Ah, the bearded warriors are together. <laughs> <laughs> Loch Ness. Loch. 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 Loch Ness, sorry. The Rettungsgasse. Locking up the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to block pipe. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh. Oh. There's no way they can tell where we are. <laughs> Andy, can you please translate <laughs> Scottish to English? No, that's bullshit. If you don't slow down, you'll be shot. <laughs> Slippery patch. How are we doing? You alright? Get it up online. You're not going to become an internet millionaire. Have you not? <laughs> By the way, did you want to lift on my helicopter? Get off the back of my head. <laughs> oh, it sounds really wank. You don't want to be sick on your keyboard. It's an utter pig. We're going to have to ask our slave to pedal a bit faster. Oh, yeah. You can have some of my spunk oh, for your beard. I can't fun. wait to get your spunk on my beard. Somebody's coming in. Periodically on and off. Yeah, that as well. It's a bit of a grey area. He rammed me. It was really pleasurable. Seven <laughs> seconds. We've all done that. We did it today. Yeah, I really like it. I really don't like the look of it. It was made of cheese. It can be a real grown up. Uh, horse? Horse. Blimey. <laughs> Which means it has extra strength. Sort of tickles my danglies. Please. Such a floozy. But I, I went out with a big begging bowl. Oh, okay. Stuffed right inside. You know, up the chin area like that. There's so many things that you can do with it. That bridge could fall on my head. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. And to me, it just feels a little bit squishier. There's actually shed loads of dead time. Off now. Oh, nearly. I'm giving away my secrets here. <laughs> if the quality's not been great, I do apologise. Thank you very much for your hospitality here. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks very much, folks. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Keep on doing what you're doing, and remember, get out there and live your life. Whether like this, I'd rather just sit in front of the TV. In my pants. I think I'd prefer to sit in my pants. I'm sure your pants are lovely. So, peeps, time has come. But before we do, it's a traditional exchanging of gifts. Some spunk. Oh, look at that. I can get teapot one spunk on my hairy face. And we have a couple of stickers for you. Obviously that. available online at teapot1.com. Oh, what do you have there, Andy? Right here, right here, I have the patent pending AMC stick. Bruce, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Utter pleasure, mate. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. We're sticking these on my pants along with the spunk in my beard. Exactly. Good work. <laughs> and these are available where? Links on my channel. Check it out. Andy Mancam, YouTube. Give it a subscription. And uh, it goes without saying, if you don't know Teapot One, you ought to. This guy went around the world on a sports bike, for God's sake. Thank you so much for coming. No, my pleasure. Ride safe, dude. Uh, don't like it. It is proper wet. But then again, what kind of an AMC video would it be without a torrential downpour? Oh, this is this is awkward. We're going the same way. We already said goodbye. Oh, and again, awkward. So there we go. That there racing off in front of me is Teapot One. Cheers, mate. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you my friend i had a lot of fun yesterday found some good twisties and i actually enjoyed the live video more than i expected and just like you said nobody noticed that we were naked from the waist down well this is awkward uh hi do you come here often so i get a beard full of bruce's spunk and then as we ride off to the motorway i get a mouthful of his spray following me uh of course i'm following you that's what psycho stalkers do <laughs> Well, folks, as Bruce tonks off ahead of me because he's far more protected than I am, this is not going to be a very exciting ride home. It's going to be all motorway because the weather is so friggin' awful. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the beards, bikes, beers, banter, general bollocksery of my meet with Teapot One. And I'll say it again, if you haven't watched any of Teapot One's videos, you need to get on it. Start with his round the world trip. That is, it's just an epic piece of work. It's been a pleasure to spend time with you, Bruce. Thanks very much, and I hope to see you again really soon. To the rest of you, thanks for watching. Uh, please think dry thoughts for me for the rest of this journey, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!